writing is tough. My book went so unnoticed, I won an award for it. Thoughts. Hello. Welcome to I Love Reading, a channel about interesting book-related subreddit topics. If you love our content, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Note. Books mentioned throughout this video can be accessed through the links below. Oh, and if you're not a member of Audible, which by far is the biggest audiobooks online store, pause the video, head over to the description box, click on the link provided, and choose any audiobook that will be mentioned, plus two other Audible originals from a collection of more than 200,000 audiobooks. Completely for free. Now let's get started. I've always interpreted underrated as a nice compliment. True, but having money is cool. Allow me to quote the great Sean Carter, would you rather be overpaid or underrated? LOL, if you're rich from your work but people call it overrated, you can just go cry into your millions of dollars. Word. If you're familiar with the quote it's from Jay-Z who has been called overrated by a lot of people, so it has a certain wink-wink effect coming from him basically saying the same thing as you. Most people here have been answering as though you're either underrated or you're making money. Although saying something is underrated is a compliment, it means that it is unnoticed, which isn't great news. It would be better to be correctly rated, where you get the attention you deserve. At least you know that if you didn't get the attention, it was only because of your own writing, rather than being told that you created something actually really good that just didn't catch on for some reason. An accomplishment should be appreciated. I agree with him. Now people know that it has an award, therefore making it more popular. This is stunning. The book looks like it's self-published on Amazon, KDP Direct. Even after the author's article was published by The Guardian, the novel still remains low in the Amazon rankings and only has one review, albeit five-star. I would have expected it to get at least some kind bump today. This makes me feel a little better about my novels. Although I've never been a best-selling author, I'm able to keep some control over my rankings by promoting myself. What most self-published authors don't realize is all the work that goes into promoting. It doesn't matter how good your book is if no one knows about it. I like, and I mean it makes me want to cry, how she considers normal to be in the glamorous new release section of the bookstore, and she thinks it's humiliating that the book is then moved to the shelves, where only the spines are visible. I would be so excited to see my book in an actual library with just the spine visible. Very few writers are motivated solely by the desire for recognition. It is lovely if it happens, but it cannot be the reason we sit down every day to stare at a screen and be immersed for hours in the soup of our thoughts. Most of us are motivated by the power of an idea, an image, a character, a world, a moral conundrum. This engages our imagination so deeply that we are willing to stay with it for the years it may take to find its most artful expression. Very few writers are motivated solely by the desire for recognition. Any writer who's worth anything would tell you this is nonsense. Some just aren't public about it because it might make them seem petty. Making great art is all well and good, but writers want to be taken seriously and be respected for their art. Getting recognition is part of that, simple as. The book probably didn't do well because of the fairly niche subject matter and less than stellar cover art. We all can't pay to get our book on the New York Times bestseller list, like Trump Jr., LOL. It's pretty much a given that publishers buy enough of their own books to get them on the New York Times list anyway. Try not to take negativity to heart. Just because your book didn't quite find the right audience yet, it doesn't invalidate the work you put into it. You got published, which means that your writing struck a chord with at least one editor. Building a significant reader or audience base may take more time. But your art, and more importantly your effort, has value beyond monetary gain and popular appeal. It's a part of who you are, and that means more than anything in the world. I hope you continue to bring your unique perspective to life. Darn, I self-published 12 books and made very few bucks in 7 years. For daily work. Yes, let writers tell you, that writing is magic and a vocation. No, it's hard work, constant rejection and sudden bursts of envy. I sent out my first book, and the rejection and sound of silence is deafening. It does gnaw away at your confidence. I don't know what's worse, not being published or having your first book get ignored. I feel for this author. If this shortlist doesn't move copies, her second novel will be twice as hard to sell. I've poured five years of my life into my first novel, and it's gotten me nowhere. The last two years were revising. I would love to throw it in the trash, but I can't. 
there is no worse feeling than putting so much work into something and getting silence from agents. Sorry, but I don't think the author is very good. It took way too long to get down to what award was actually won. The article had too much self-pity too. At a glance, this is a big oof by the publisher, and no wonder this book floundered. I feel really bad for the author. First, I can't find an ebook copy of book one on Amazon at all, which is about the biggest crime possible for even trying to sell a book. Second, the cover of the book one isn't great at all for this type of genre and story, I have zero Roman or British feel from it at all, which is the major draw, or rather story point of the novel. Third, on what is available on Amazon, only has a measly eight reviews, which shows the publisher has no actual reviewing team strength to get this book noticed in the first place. I can only hope this author drops the publisher and finds someone that'll actually work for them, or take the lessons learned and self-publish her works going forward. She was 100% taken advantage of here and should be a warning for all authors looking to sign with this publisher. You're doing quite well. My friends and family can't even be bothered to read my short stories. Fiction writers are a sensitive bunch, and the porousness of our imaginations is often close cousin to a fragile ego. Fix this and a lot of the issues go away. I know this society of ours weights financial success more highly than anything else, and I'm not denying we need money to live. But writing the book that sets the world on fire is such an unlikely outcome, why not inure yourself to failure in advance? If you find time to exercise creativity in your shitty overwork day, you're doing well, pat yourself on the back. Try to keep that urge throughout your life and nurture it. If life isn't mostly failure, it's certainly a lot of not succeeding. This feels like a good chance to practice equanimity. Fewer touchy writers would make attending writing groups more fun too, I reckon, if you're gonna expose yourself so, why work on staying raw? This lady sounds nice. Just, you know, seek your inner stoic during some of those long hours contemplating the blank page. If the prose in the book is like this article, I wouldn't read this author's work either. I found this whole article shoehorned with terribly predictable metaphors and a lecturing tone. I didn't feel an ounce of pathos in the whole, woe is me discussion, and that might speak to something. I think most of us who want to call ourselves authors are just bad at it. I know I'm not a talent for writing, but it's just a height of conceit to believe that finishing a book means one has written something meritorious. Still, quite depressing to be forgotten so quickly. We can't all be Colson Whitehead. So she got an award. Not any award, an award that says specifically, hey, you should really take a look at this, you don't know about it, and it's special, instead of the legions of best whatever award that have a mechanic sense of unavoidable. This award system is so overwhelming that some books are written specifically to get an award and won't have much of a legacy past it. And she write an opinion in a newspaper to express her existential anguish about her novel being ignored and how she was appalled to receive this prize which was some kind of cruel joke. But at the same time, she goes out of her way to specifically state, most writer don't write for attention. And ultimately makes a U-turn and explains how this award was a good thing. It really reads like she's desperate for attention. There you have it. Redditor's thoughts on a writer whose work went so unnoticed, she actually won an award for it. Thank you for watching till the end. Before you leave, do me a huge favor and remember to subscribe to I Love Reading if you have not already. Lastly, press the bell icon to get notified immediately I release new content. See you on the next video.